common sense that hydration is essential, which does not prevent it from being a topic little discussed in consultations and often forgotten from the daily concerns of those living with the disease. The question we would all like to know the answer to is how much fluid we should take in each day to stay hydrated. Unfortunately, we still don't know the answer to this question, neither for the general population or for people with Parkinson's disease. In this population, in particular, good hydration contributes to good bowel function, reducing complaints of constipation, quite frequent in this disease. It also helps control blood pressure, preventing orthostatic hypotension, which is nothing more than a drop in blood pressure in the standing position, which in serious cases can lead to falls, and it's also a frequent symptom in PD. Each person has different needs that can vary with body weight, ambient temperature and physical activity. Quite simply, a bigger individual will need to drink more fluids to stay hydrated. In practical terms, we can summarize the recommendations as follows. 2 liters for women and 2.5 liters for men, keeping in mind that these volumes are the sum of hydration provided by food, drinks and pure water. 70-80% to of hydration should come from drinks and pure water, so we arrive at a generalized recommendation of 1.5 to 2 liters per day. Dehydration can't be felt, however, our body has ways to show us that we should be drinking more fluids, we just have to be alert. Some of these signs are darker colored urine, dry and dehydrated mouth and lips, and overall dry and dull looking skin. Hydrating drinks are water, sparkling water, flavored water, hot or cold tea, coffee, milk and milk drinks, fruit juices and soup. The challenge in hydration is to come up with strategies to reach the recommended amount of liquids and to be creative in thinking beyond pure water. Check out our suggestions in the gastronomic tutorial about this tip. It's delicious! Keep it on!